Right, I'm ready to put the lenses back on the camera. So, start with the rear group. That's all clean, ready to pop back. Just blow any last bits of dust out. And on it goes. Just screw it in with your fingers, give it a tweak, it's done. The front group, that bayonet's on of course. Again, just give it a quick blow out. Make sure that the red dot lines up with the red dot when you pop it back on. It just twists, clicks into place. Now that one's very rattly, can you hear that rattle? There's something not right there, I'm going to have to have a look at that and see what's wrong. I'm checking this plate to make sure the screws are tight. And I'm looking at these points here. That's where it grips that plate. And I suspect that they're not bent quite right there. That they're a bit... What, what I think has happened is that someone has given that... They've tried to pull the lens off. So I'll just give those a little tweak with the pliers. Give them a bit of extra tension. We'll see if we improve things. Well, it's still a bit too rattly for my liking, so I'm going to have to investigate that. Oh, okay. Well, I had a look. Those tabs were bent down. What I did was I took out the three screws, took this plate off, bent those three bayonet contacts down, clips down, and now it clips in very positively. So I'm just going to put a touch of my favourite lubricant on those three bayonet points there there and there blow any dust out of the shutter blow any dust off the lens check that I didn't put a fingerprint on it while I was dealing doing with that and now red dot to red dot and Clips into place, nice and firm. And that's all that's required. At the back of the shutter, we'll put on that paper shim, that metal shim. There's our retaining ring. We'll take the body and we'll fit the shutter to the body. That little screw head there hops into that slot there. So, I move that rack up to about the midpoint. That should slide in. I can feel it seating. That's good. Now holding that with my thumb, to press the release button there, hold down the end of film lever, Cock the shutter, and I can hear that shutter rolling back, uncocked. It wasn't quite done. If I roll the focus as far forward as I can, that exposes the rack here. Now what I want to do is move that rack to give it, get forward a couple of notches. So I lift the shutter very slightly. So it's not contacting the gear. Move it forward one tooth. Moving it forward means moving it this way. Drop everything back into place. Thumb on here. Press the release lever. Hold that down. Cock the shutter. 
we're still not there, still not cocked. Another position. Lift the shutter out slightly, move it across another tooth, drop it back into position, same again. Now I heard that latching inside the shutter at that stage, I could tell that. Now when we fire the shutter, the shutter fires. Just hear that tiny click there, that's the shutter cocking. All right. So holding the shutter in place, open the back of the camera, drop in the retaining ring, slots upwards, otherwise you'll never get the tool into it. Look for the tool that tightens it up, which is this thing. Just roll that till it's finger tight. Now the shutter can't fall out. Hold down the end of film lever. That's good as gold. I can tighten that shutter. The retaining ring rather. And I have a screwdriver that I pop through there. Or this one here. Just tweak that up snug. That's it. That's good. Focus nice and smooth. Sometimes you get a bit of binding there. And it'll be because the shutter's not quite as centred as it might be in the holder. And sometimes you can just push it across and snug it up with the snug up the retaining ring a bit more and it'll be good. That's it. So next, I think the rangefinder. <laughs>